Hey friends and welcome back to my channel. This video is about fixing the issue while launching the GTA 5 game onto the Xbox Game Bar. You got an error of no applicable application license found. So without wasting time, let's go ahead and directly proceed with the resolution. First of all, in the basic step, go to a settings menu and from the left pane, click on the option time and language. Now here choose time and language and then you will find the option of set time automatically. Turn it on and under the sync now, choose the option sync now so that your time will be synced with the internet timing and if there is any glitch, it will be updated. After doing so, in the left pane, click on the option apps. Now choose the option install apps. Now over here, all the install apps will be shown right over here. So you need to click on three dot icon next to your game which is GTA 5 and choose the option advanced options. Scroll down and click on the option repair and reset one by one. First one is repair. Once the repair is completed, click on the option reset. Thirdly is go to windows update. If any kind of update is pending, make sure you choose the option download and install to make your operating system up to date. And even you need to launch the Microsoft store and go to a library and over here also, if any kind of update is pending, it is mandatory to choose the option update all to update all the Microsoft apps. These are the basic steps, however, works out for many users to resolve this particular issue. If this failed to work out, in next step, right click or start menu, choose option run, type here WS, reset and then hit the enter key. It will restart your Microsoft store and once it is started, try to relaunch the game. If this also fails, in next step, you need to do a re-registration of your store. And to do so, click on start menu, type PowerShell and choose the option run as administrator. Now in PowerShell, you need to pipe this particular command, get it from the description, copy it and paste right over here and then hit the enter key. This will go ahead, take some time and it will re-register your Microsoft store. Once it is fully completed, go ahead and restart your Microsoft store, update any kind of update activities available and then relaunch your game to fix out the issue. And if this also failed, first of all, open up the Microsoft store. Now you need to click on your profile icon and select the option app settings. Now you will find the option of offline permission. If you have turned this particular option off, make sure to turn it on. Toggle on the option offline permission. After turning on the offline permission, close the Microsoft Store, restart your PC, relaunch your Xbox game. After relaunching, go to a library. Now select your game, which is GTA 5. Click on three dot icon and choose option manage. Click on the files option and click on the option browse. It will open you the game directly. Open the game directory and under the content, you will find the exe file of GTA 5. Right click on the exe file, go to the properties, click on compatibility tab and check mark this particular option. Run this program as an administrator. Hit apply and OK button. That's all you have to do. Now go ahead, relaunch your game and this will completely fix out the issue of no applicable app license found by launching a GTA 5. So that's all about it friends. If this video works out for you, I request you to please click on subscribe button and turn on the bell notification icon to continue receiving updates from my channel. Thank you so much friends. Thank you for watching.